Welcome to our lecture online and now for something a little bit more challenging. Here we have a fish tank so to speak with water at the top. Let's say that the bottom is very thick. It's made out of glass with an index of refraction of 1.66 and yes it's 8 centimeters thick. Now the question is what is the apparent thickness of this glass as seen by a person above the aquarium or above the, the fish tank? Well, to do that, we need to do this in several steps. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to call the bottom of the fish tank right here, the object, and we're going to look at it from this portion right there. So assuming that we're looking at it from the water side, where is this located? And we do that, we do that as follows. We use this equation right here, of course, since R is going to be infinity because these are all flat surfaces. This equation reduces down to this equation, actually this equation, but then we solve for S prime. So we're going to use this equation three times to try to figure out the thickness of the glass. So step one, we're going to try to find the location of this, the apparent location of the bottom of the glass as seen from this right here. So we're going to say that S prime S1 prime, we'll call it S1 prime, is equal to minus N2 over N1 times S. Now N2 will be the index of refraction of this region, and 1 will be the index of refraction of the region where the object is at. S will be the object distance of 8 centimeters. So S1 prime is going to be equal to minus N2, which is 1.33 divided by n1, which is 1.66, times the distance of 8 centimeters. And that will be the apparent depth or the apparent thickness of this glass relative to an observer inside the water. So 1.33 divided by 1.66 and times 8 equals, oop, let me do it again, 1.33 divided by 1.66 and then multiply it times 8 and I get 6.41. So this is 6.41 centimeters. So as seen by this observer, this thickness is 6.41 centimeter. But as seen by this observer, that's a different story. What we have to do now is place the image right here. This is image one from object one and make that into object two. So now we're going to have an object right there that we're now going to look at from this perspective. So what we have to do is, since this image is seen from here, we're going to take that as the object and now look at it from this perspective. So on step two, we can say that S2 prime is equal to minus N2 over N1 times S1. Of course, um, uh, I'll take that back. This should be S2, not S1. That comes from object two. And so that will be this distance right here plus this distance right here because we're going to look at it from here. So the total distance, S2, is going to be the thickness of the water, which is 12 centimeters, plus the thickness of the apparent, or the apparent thickness of the glass, which is 18.41 centimeters. Now we can go ahead and plug that into our second equation. So the, the location here, as seen from this perspective, is as follows. That's equal to minus N2, which is going to be 1 in this case, divided by N1, which is seen from this location, which is 1.33, times the thickness of 18.41 centimeters. And what is that going to be equal to? So we take 18.41, divide by 1.33, and that gives us 13.84 centimeters. So 13.84 four centimeters. Now what that is, this is S2 prime, that would be the apparent position, let me use a different color, I'll use red here, right there, so this is going to be image two as seen from this location right there, and so that's going to be this distance from there to there, the apparent distance, which is going to be S2 prime, S2 prime, which is going to be equal to 13.84 centimeters. There we go. All right, so that's the bottom of the glass as seen by this observer, where this is the bottom of the glass as seen by this observer. Of course, there's no observer in the water, but we need to do it in two steps. Now, the final thing we need to do is find out where this is at relative to this observer right here, the top of the glass. So that's going to be step three. So now we find S3 prime, which is equal to 
minus n2 over n1 times s3. So what s3 is, of course, going to be this distance right here. And so s3 prime is equal to minus n2, which is going to be 1, divided by n1, which is going to be the water, 1.33, or index of refraction of water. s3 is going to be the 12 centimeters. So now we're going to calculate the distance, the apparent distance, to the top of the glass as seen by this observer. It's going to be 12 divided by 1.33, which is 9.02. So S3 prime is equal to 9.02 centimeters. Now, how thick is the glass relative to this observer right here? Well, it's going to be the distance to the top of the glass as seen by this observer to the bottom of the glass as seen by this observer. So I3 is going to be somewhere up here. I3, which is going to be 9.02 centimeters below the surface, and so this here is going to be the apparent thickness of the glass. It's the distance between where image 2 is at and where image 3 is at. So now we can say the apparent thickness is going to be equal to S3 prime, or I should say S2 prime because that's a bigger number S2 prime minus S3 prime. So the difference between those two distances. S2 prime is going to be 13.84 centimeters. So that's 13.82 centimeters minus 9. Uh, yes, yes, it's 84 centimeters minus 9.02 centimeters. And so that's going to be equal to, looks like 4.82. 8.2 centimeters. Let's see, 4.82. Yep, that is correct. And so that's the apparent thickness of the glass when it's actually 8 centimeters thick. It appears to be only 4.82 centimeters thick as seen by an observer here. And that's because the bottom is quite high because it has to go through this index of refraction and this index of refraction to be seen here. And then the top portion has to go through this index of refraction to be seen there. Take the difference. And that's what it is. And that's how we do multi-flat surfaces.